So today we're going to be looking at the 2016 Detroit Lions prediction. So I know it's a little ways from here now, but we're about three months away from the 2016 season. So, and I think this is a good year for the Lions. Yeah, we did okay year last year. And um, with Calvin Johnson leaving this year, uh, retirement, and uh, with getting Marvin Jones, I think we have a good good chance of um, maybe making the playoffs. So, um, I do have the uh, players that we drafted this year. I'll be going through those today. Um, hopefully, I don't want to make a too long video. If I do, I'm sorry. But uh, I do have two predictions for the season, record-wise, and I'll go through those uh, week by week and giving out the predictions. So let's start with um, the recent new newest player of the team that we got from Cincinnati, Marvin Jones. He'd be replacing Calvin Johnson's spot, even though nobody can't replace Calvin Johnson. Uh, but I think that was a good pick. I mean, for him to come in for the Detroit and replace Calvin Johnson, that's a big spot. That's a big spot to fill. And, um, yeah, he ain't going to have the moves like Calvin Johnson, but it'd be something towards or kind of looking like Calvin Johnson. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, the new people that we got, we did good in draft. We had nine draft picks. That's really good. Um, the one I'm really looking forward to is Taylor Decker. Uh, he's tied 6'7 from Ohio State, uh, hometown, Vidalia, Ohio. So most of these guys that we picked in the draft is the line, and that's what we needed. We needed that line to uh, protect Stafford and um, make sure he's not under pressure a lot, you know. If you don't have a good line, you can't have a good quarterback. So uh, another one I'm looking uh, looking at is uh, who was it? The Wayne Washington running back. Yeah, we have a good running back. We have um, who do we have? Well, we got rid of Bell. Oh, Amir Abdul. Uh, Amir Abdul was a good rookie quarterback this year, uh, this past year. Uh, you know, if he ended up getting hurt, you know, he could be another option for us. Uh, another one, um, lineback, Williams, Georgia, South Georgia. You know, that's another one. We got another guy from Penn State on the D-line. And most of you guys, they're just on the line, and that's what we need. That's what we need. So I'm looking forward for all those guys uh, to be on the Lions team. So, like I said, I have two predictions. I'm going to go for the first one, which I hopefully is a success. I'm hoping to see this record. Uh, if I don't see it, I, I, I mean, it is what it is. <clears throat> so, week one, we are starting off with the Colts at the Colts. Um, I give that a loss. Uh, I just think the Colts are progressing every year and getting better. I just think we can't handle their line and Andrew Luck. Uh, so I give that a loss. Week two, we're back at home with the Titans. Titans, they were okay last year. Um, but I give us a win. Week four, or sorry, week three, this is what stands out to me. We play Green Bay, a rivalry, Green Bay, third week and last week. And I'm loving the schedule because last year we played the Packers and we almost beat them, almost did. So I'm loving the schedule. Plus, if you look back in your stats, and it's online, the last time we played the Packers, week 17, was 1993, 
and we clinch the NFC Central Division. Maybe it's that time. I don't know. Anyways, week three at Packers. Since we all since we did win last year at Lambeau, unbelievably, I think we can pull it off again. So I give that another W. Week four we're at Bears. Since we got that momentum going into Lambeau Field, I think we can pull that one off as a win. There. Then uh, we go back home week five at Eagles. Um, with Sam Bradford going with them, don't know who they want as quarterback. I say we went on that one too. So, um, let's see, week six at Rams after they screwed St. Louis over. Um, and don't know who wants to be quarterback on that one. That's at home in Detroit. I give that another W. Week Seven Redskins with all this momentum we have. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Going in week seven, we have a five game winning streak. I just think if we can keep that winning streak going, I think we could get another win next. The Redskins. Redskins were okay last year, they weren't the best. Um, it did uh, surprise some uh, other teams like Dallas, beat the crap out of Dallas. But I think that's going to be a, a close one, probably by a field goal. So I get that a W. Uh, week eight, Texan. This one was very hard for me because Houston is a good team with J.J. Watt and um, all those guys on that line. I have this win, this game, only by two points. Uh, that was very hard for me. Now going back to the divisionals, we have at Viking. I finally give the Lions a loss. Uh, just because the Vikings did a fantastic job last year. I just don't think we can beat them twice. Don't think. So, I get that a loss. Finally, week 10, we have a bye. So, let's go back here. Um, all the way through the first uh, half of the season, we're sitting at, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wins and two losses. I think that's great. I think that's great. Um, I'm hoping they're looking forward to seeing that. We might not see it, and that's why I have a second prediction. All right, let's go through the second half of the season. After the bye, we are at home in Detroit. Jaguars, I mean, what do we have against the Jaguars? I mean, Jaguars, I mean, <laughs> Jaguars are Jaguars. Uh, everybody can beat the Jaguars, even though sometimes – those Jaguars can pull out of that sump and uh, smoke that good team. But I do not see us losing that game, so I had to give, them, uh, give us a, another win. Then, at home in Detroit again, Vikings. I say we take that one, one out of two games, uh, cut that in half. So we finally win against the Vikings at home. Then we go to Saints. With Drew Brees, this is week 13, with Drew Brees in there. This one was very, very hard for me to decide. I just don't think we can pull it off with the line, especially with their experience. We have won against them before in the last couple years. Uh, I just think now since I think we can't pull that one off. So that's a loss. Um, and then we go Bears at home. That's a win. Um, we beat them twice this year. Then that Giants, that was a tough decision. Uh, with Odell Beckman, man, he's a great player. I had that winning by three points, so that's a win. Then we go to Dallas. I give that a loss only because Dallas has a good quarterback, have a good line. I just think with, uh, with the two-win streak, I think we're going to get a little out of the slump and lose that game. Now, here's the big game changer. If this prediction number two, work, or number one, works out right, and I hope this is going to be right, if we can win like this, like I said,
Week 17, we play Packers. And we win. And we win the division. I'm hoping and praying that's going to work out. So, since I think even even, even way if we uh, didn't win against the Packers at Lambeau, I still have them winning game or week 17 at home. I just don't think they can do it. Even though it was a bullcrap call when we played, when they came to Detroit and they beat us. We almost beat them twice, so I think we can do it again this year, but more clearly, more fundamentally. So that is <clears throat> the 2016 prediction one. So I have them sitting at 12 and 4. I hope that works out. I hope we can do that. Um, obviously, 12 and 4, you're going to make the playoffs. Unless another team is very, very close to you and gets that well. So this is prediction two. We can't do that. I see them kind of going down the hill, but not too much. I can see them. The prediction two, if it happens, we can't do the prediction one. I think prediction two, we can do better than what we did last year. Last year we finished, I believe, eight and eight. So the way I have it, prediction, prediction two, I think we can progress that more. So this is prediction two. I'm not going to go through like I did in the prediction one. Like I said, I'm trying to, trying to make this video long. All right. <clears throat> so this is prediction two at Colts. I got a win. Uh, Texans, a win. Packers with a loss. Uh, Bears with a loss. Eagles with a win. Rams with a win. Redskins with a win. Uh, Texans with a win. Vikings with a loss. Then we got that bye week. So uh, through the half of the season there, we're sitting at one, two, three, four, five, six wins, one, two, three losses. So we cut that in half. Uh, if we can't do that prediction one, I'm thinking prediction two is a lot more better than uh, being at four and four or, or whatever. So we're sitting at six and three after the bye. Uh, Jaguars, that's a definitely a win. Vikings, a win. Saints, a loss. Bear, a win. Giants, loss. Dallas, loss. And I think for prediction two, we can take one game out of two games with the Packers. So I got a win with the Packers week 17. So with the prediction two, my prediction for prediction two would be 10 and 6. A lot better than what we had last year with 8-8. Eight eight. Uh, I think we can do a lot better than we did last year with our new draft picks, uh, especially with the line. And um, and hopefully we can get a Super Bowl. You know, I've been waiting for it, been waiting for it, waiting for it. So um, I know we're pro solely progressing to that uh, stage of the Super Bowl. And that is my prediction. So, like I said, prediction one, I have them going 12 and 4. And if that doesn't happen, hopefully for prediction two, we can go 10 and 6. Uh -huh. So, I hope you like this video. If you liked it, please like the button. Please share it to your other friends, your other subscribers. Please hit the like button and subscribe to the bottom. And go live.